Well, welcome to winter. We're loading beans. Probably got a good eight inches of snow. I had to plow this out real quick and that part of the driveway out to get the truck in because it was kind of a another one of those last minute, hey, you want to load beans? Right now the storm has stopped, but we're supposed to get more lake effect. So I was just gonna wait till tomorrow morning to plow, but so hopefully we don't get too much more that I gotta replow all this again. Because I still gotta plow the rest of the farm, the neighbors, the guy down in Meridian. So, but we're letting a load of beans go. And it's cold. If you can tell off in the distance. A friend who's a boy's brother's little tractor is sitting up there. He's cutting some wood around the edges of the fields. So he, I don't know if you can see the snow whipping around with the wind. Yeah. Lake effect. Lovely. All right. I'm back in the tractor. As you can see, it's getting shitty out again. That second band of lake effect is hitting <coughs> of course the old disc which I traded for you know that new Great Plains disc well we'll just sit here for a minute and discuss this is right in my way of plowing down through here where I just plowed to load that load of beans then I went up and plowed the neighbor out up the road there yeah they were bringing my new disc yesterday until they hit a bridge with the disc I don't know all the uh, particulars, but I was told that quite a bit of damage. They'll get all the new parts to make it just like new again. Yeah. No, I think me and the salesman are going to have a little issue with that because that desk ain't going to sit on this lot or this farm after it's been wrecked by somebody who apparently doesn't know how to deliver equipment. But. So I'm finishing up here in front of the bins and stuff. I don't know. I don't think the way that wind's blowing now and it's starting to get the second band of lake effect, I'm going to bother even do our driveway or my mother's driveway. I'll do all that tomorrow. I'll do the couple in their 70s there down to Meridian that I rent some ground from. The sun was out a little while ago. I'll do theirs tomorrow, but I don't think I need my sunglasses anymore. Of course, I got to this is screwed up the way I was doing it because I was in a hurry. The truck was sitting on the road while I was doing this. But so maybe I'll film some uh, plowing tomorrow. But I just want to get done now. Don't know if you can tell, but it's snowing like crazy again. So I'm going over here to finish this last little bit where my truck is parked, and I'm going to the house because. And I still got my sunglasses on. And yes, I took my hat off because I'm sweating, so I look like hell. But I'm not doing it anymore because I'll just have to redo it. So. Sucks. Sucks, but yet is good if you like the right snowmobile. So, I don't know. Getting so I'm like in the middle on all that. Holy shit. I just pulled it in. Yeah, getting hard to see the hedgerows and stuff. Yeah. Time to shut the door and save some heat. Oh, burr. Got something I'm going to show you here in a few minutes after I get the door all situated. All right, now that the door is closed, yeah, we're back up to 59, so it'll shut off here shortly when it hits 60. It dropped down to 55 just getting that in there and then trying to shut the door one hand hold the camera this filming shit sometimes isn't that easy but the outfit that just picked up that load of beans <coughs> they make a calendar every year i'm putting you on youtube dick richard walton trucking 2022 camera or uh, calendar and they take pictures of you know their trucks loading trucks like there obviously somebody's loading in the fall the tractor and grain cart they take pictures of different different farms well we made it on the calendar this year so trying to figure out who i was loading 
thinking that was Timmy because he likes to put lights all around his truck so he must have walked out by the road and took a picture of stuff I never knew it but here's a pretty cool one right here with a bunch of old John Deere tractors some of the old Johnny poppers and whatnot lined up in somebody's shed but that's a really cool barn an American flag painted on the side of it it's a nice old tractor but now this is a this is a pretty cool calendar here's one of somebody harvesting combine dumping onto a grain cart there's a nice old tractor uh, trucks there's a nice aerial shot of somebody's place but yeah it's pretty cool so I made the 2022 calendar for Richard Walton trucking <laughs> anyways <coughs> I might film a little more tomorrow of plowing down there when the actual sun is shining and you can see something. The older couple I was telling you about where I rent the ground, that's where I, that's where my cousin Ronnie dug that monster rock out for any of you new people, if you go back to that one. And that's that S curved driveway between the white picket fences. Yeah, I'm not doing that now when it's getting close to dark and it's snowing and blowing and the plows are gonna be out. No, I'll do it tomorrow when visibility's better. The disc, just to say something about that again so that you're not all like, what? Yeah. Well, they were supposed, yesterday was, I mean, this is, this is our kind of winter. When lake effect hits, it hits. So yesterday we basically had no snow, maybe a trace on the ground from a previous snow a few days ago. Roads were dry, nice day, sun was out. I was loading something, corner beans, like around 10.30. Yeah, for grain moving slow, they said. It's the 7th of January and I've moved three loads of beans and two loads of corn, I think. So five loads in the first seven days, but grain's moving slow. I mean, I'm good with it, don't get me wrong. So, but, so they were coming yesterday to pick that one up, drop the new one off which I was going to have put underneath the corn crib where I stored that one last year. Obviously, I didn't store that one there. I left it sitting down there because it was supposed to be leaving. But I don't know what bridge they hit, but the rolling baskets in the back, supposedly on one side, so it sounds like they hit one side of the bridge. Got all effed up. Them dirt shields on the side like I have on the Pottinger one. Sounds like it wiped them right off. Some hangers, some other stuff. But here's my worry, okay? I don't know what tractor they were towing it with, but these, you know, modern day tractors, most of them go between 20 and 30 miles an hour. You hit a bridge at 25, 30 miles an hour, yeah, you're gonna see a lot of physical damage. But what about the damage you don't see? You know, shit that got tweaked on a frame or something like that. So I don't know how this one's gonna end up, but if I end up with this disc, I can tell you it's not gonna be for the price that I said I was buying it for. It's gonna have an extended warranty on it for when you find those little tweaks. But I already told the salesman, you might wanna bring a new, a different one but then you got to deal with the supply and chain bullshit. Can a different one be gotten before spring? So, and it was funny because my wife was pissed. I mean, pissed. So, and it's not, shit happens, you know. I mean, I don't know the person was driving the tractor, but pay attention. Uh, you know, all I know is I'm the guy on this end that writes the check. So that kind of pisses you off, but... My wife was bitching last night when I was in the house. It was like five o'clock, close to what it is now. And she's, you know, I, I should call him, whatever. Well, my wife never says that. So I was like, cool. I gave her the phone number of the salesman while I jumped in the shower. So, and she called and ripped on him because that's usually my job, but because she's not very happy. And without giving away future things, I've also got another deal that's been in the works with this same dealership so we'll see how that affects things but that disc down there works i just wanted a bigger one because we bought the bigger tractor so 
if we have to use that disc again, we'll use that disc again. But it is what it is. But, you know, if you bought a car and the dealership drove it down the road to put gas in it, like, I don't know if they still do that anymore with Biden's gas prices, but around here they used to fill your car up with or your truck, whatever you bought, with fuel. So you had a full tank. Well, if the dealership did that and they got into an accident, well, that's now on Carfax and follows that vehicle for the rest of its life. And, you know, that's now not a brand new vehicle, in my opinion, when they have to start replacing parts already before you've even driven it once. So I'm sure you'll all leave your comments on how you feel on this. But So anyways, we've picked up quite a few new subscribers lately, thanks to you newbies. Go back through the videos. Um, there's obviously a few favorites of mine. The interview of my dad, which I'm glad I did because he wound up passing away this past July. You know, a lot of videos with Buddy starting out the videos, which was funny because now there's never Buddy to start out a video. But just, you know, and I try to, I've had some newbies that have left comments on old videos and I, I try to comment back to everybody if I can, okay? if I can but so don't get pissed off at me if I don't comment back to you but chances are I will comment back to you sometime I'm not the you know ones that just go and push the heart and move on so all right we'll see what tomorrow brings well it's Saturday morning as you can see I plowed this yesterday probably another two or three inches in it and the sun is shining I don't think I'm going to replow this. They say chance of snow Sunday night, another three, four inches. Probably wait until Monday to plow. But we are headed down to Meridian to plow that other guy's driveway. And then I'll come home and plow the, my mother's driveway and our driveway. So, and I'll be curious to see how bad the end of the neighbor up the road here's driveway got plowed in after I plowed that yesterday afternoon after doing that load of beans. I mean it's not like we have high banks on the side of the road so it's probably not plowed in bad but I may have to hit the up and down part of this driveway on my way back through. See what it looks like. And we're plowing the white picket fence driveway. As you can see, I hope, this is the driveway I only plow down. I go down, then I come back up, and I plow down again, because by the time you get down here, you got quite a pile of snow pushing off in front of you. So to try to push it back up the hill, no, nah, that don't work so good. So, that's how we do this one. And I can't push off to the sides very far, because as you see, I got the fence to deal with. It's not so bad. I manage every year to get it done. Hopefully we don't get like massive amounts of snow one right after another. That kind of makes it a little tougher. But All right, got a curve coming down here. And as you can see, now I drive back up the driveway. Because it doesn't work too good I'm trying to plow up around and I make the pass back down through the other side and then I plow all the little part down there where, you, where they park their vehicles and in front of their garage and whatnot oh the sun is very bright this morning that'll help settle a little of the snow down it was six when I got up it's about eight or nine now and then of course tomorrow it's supposed to go up close to 40 chances some rain chances of freezing rain Tomorrow night, chance of another three inches of snow. Just get consistent. That's all I ask. I hate this up and down bullshit. But, all right, gotta go down now. All right, heading back home. Spent just as much time bullshitting with the guy as I did plowing his driveway. It's amazing how the two of us can figure out how to fix all the world's woes, but our assholes that we call our leaders can't figure it out. But, oh, I know. I shouldn't I shouldn't rant about these things all the time. But we're going by the Jimster's house. 
Jimster's got his driveways all plowed out. So he plowed out part of his lawn too over to my field. Hi Jim. I gotta plow my mother's driveway out, my driveway out, and I will be doing. Like I said, it's Saturday. Probably just go watch some football. I don't know. Oh, I see there's some snowmobile tracks. People have got out and tried the trails, which I don't think are going to be too good yet with as fluffy as it is, but whatever. Get them packed down for me. All right, got her put away. I didn't bother to plow the two, three inches that we got. You know, since I plowed yesterday afternoon when I had to load that beans, the neighbor's driveway up the road didn't look bad. So, I just plowed the one guy out, my mother, myself. And I didn't plow a lot of stones out of our new driveway, which was good. So, I'm going to go up to my brother's, get some oil for snowmobile. So, if we do get some more tomorrow night, Tomorrow, tomorrow night, whatever, and we get enough to actually go riding and it settles down. So, I guess I'll just call this a video. I mean, I like plowing snow on days like today where it's nice and sunny versus yesterday when it was snowing like a bastard and you couldn't see shit. But, so we will call this a video and we will see you in whatever the hell the next one's going to be. Maybe eventually we'll get some snowmobile videos.